Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do something a little different today and go through how I make one of my protein smoothies that I drink daily. So stay tuned. All right, so the shit that goes into my smoothies is a little much, but we're going to go through everything. I just randomly will find protein that I think is good and I'll buy it. Um, this week's selection is by Healthy Delights. It's protein and probiotics. 20 grams of protein per a 44 gram serving size. So that's what we go with. For my milk, I just pretty much get any non-dairy one that I can find. This week, um, the silk, almond, and coconut is good to go and check out those calories per cup. That's really macro friendly. I'm super lactose intolerant, so I have to do fake milk. Add some awesome flaxseed. It's good prebiotic fiber just to, you know, feed all them bacterias in my guts. Also, powdered peanut butter is the shit. It takes your protein shakes to a whole new fucking level. So if you have not added that, I highly suggest it. Um, I also put in some instant coffee, especially if it's a chocolate protein. Because I don't know what the fuck coffee does, but it just makes chocolate taste so much more amazing. Like it adds a really good depth of flavor. And I also add a frozen banana. Gotta get that potassium. All right, first thing is first, I measure everything. So I'm gonna make sure we're on grams. This um, scale I have now, unfortunately doesn't do milliliters. So I have to do it a little short for it to even out. Dun, dun, dun. Almost, almost there. Oh, a little over. So, whoopsie. We're gonna take some out real quick. Yeah. That is way too much milk. Them back in there and perfect. Oh, I got some on the scale. Oh, well. That's what washcloths are for. Alright. Now, let's add our nanner. I'm gonna zoom this out real quick so I can get the correct measurement of everything. Sweet. 110 grams. Not too shabby. Rinse the hand off quickly. Got some nanner juice on there. All right. Zero that out again. Time for the ground flex seed size of this is 14 grams it's usually about two tablespoons but I like to be super accurate so we measure everything see two tablespoons and I'm short four grams always measure your shit because it's just as easy to go over as it is to go under drama I'm short. Oh, oh, ah. Dang. Oh, there we go. Okay. Doesn't like to make up its mind quick enough. All right. Let's get some 
peanut butter in there. This shit makes it taste like a freaking Reese's milkshake. It's fucking amazing. And this serving size is 12 grams, two tablespoons again. Accuracy is key when you're tracking your macros because the nutrition is based on the correct macros. 12 grams has all of these macros and micros in it. So if you do half or go over that, it's going to change all of this breakdown. So. If you're not accurately tracking your shit, it's probably why you're not seeing the results you think you should be seeing. You can see that went back down to 11, so it's teeter-tottering in between. There we go. That should be good now. All right, now it's still teeter-tottering. Let's get some more peanut butter in there. It's probably at like 11.95. No, don't go off. One more little gram. Now we good. Should be fine. I'm gonna add an extra gram to my macros just to make it more accurate. All right, so we're gonna do about five grams of that. Four should be good. All right. Now. Oh, five. Okay. Make up your fucking mind scale. Now for the importanto. The protein. This shit doesn't ever want to come out. It's like super fucking packed in the bottom. All right, so I'm trying to do one scoop. Let's see how good I am or how good this fucking scoop is because it should be 44 grams. And now it is five grams short. Cool story, bro. See, don't get cheap scales, kids. <laughs> Because they don't want to measure right. Sorry for getting a Walmart scale. But oh well. Gotta do what you gotta do when your shit breaks. Alright, let's get this shit mixed up now. It's gonna be a little loud. I just use, uh, you should probably you can use whatever the fuck. You have a blender, ninja, magic bullet. I just happen to have this and I like the way it does its thing. Let's give it a few little whirls. I like to shake it because it gets all stuck on the sides. Like, ugh, so annoying. Proteins. Thank <laughs> you. 
cooperate. So let's revel in our masterpiece. Oh yeah, see how nice and thick it gets? That freaking frozen banana like makes all the difference. Oh yes. Yummy, 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 yummy. I freaking love making my protein shakes this way. It is really good. Uh, yum, yum. So fantastical. Mmm. so thick and luscious mm. all right guys thanks for watching this tutorial on how i do my protein shakes um i'll put all the macros and stuff in the box below if you care about that shit i know some people do some people don't give a fuck but you gotta do what you gotta do Bye.